The Committee of Wademba's Victims, a committee representing people who were subjected to violence in Venezuela in 2014, is now in Quito, Ecuador to spread their message of nonviolence to the public there. They have also gained the support of many people there in Ecuador. With more now, here's our correspondent Liz Scherfius. Herman Guerrero is a victim of the violence which occurred in Venezuela in 2014. A bomb detonated by right-wing protesters exploded while he was delivering medical supplies and he lost his hand. Today he is part of the Committee of Guardimbas Victims and spreads his message of non-violence around the world. He has come to Ecuador with other victims to present their case. We want there to be justice and that our human rights are respected. We are the real victims. There are 43 dead and 888 injured, people who really did pay for this. They lost their children, mothers, brothers, and parts of their body. The Committee of Victims held a private meeting with Secretary General of UNASUR, Ernesto Samper, at the regional body headquarters in Quito. Following the meeting, Samper said that UNASUR is in solidarity with their cause and that the organization will work to protect democracy in the face of right-wing violence. Disagreements are legitimate, but violent disagreements are not. And they have testimonies that are worth listening to to have a balanced view of what is happening in Venezuela. Member of the committee, Yandri Velasquez, said she hopes that people learn from their cases as destabilization attempts are happening regionally. We want them to see who are the real victims, to bring our cases to the forefront and use our example so that no other Latin American country, and in this case Ecuador, is taken by violence, by baseless hatred, and that what happened to us happens to them. As marches rage on in Ecuador, which are calling for a change of government and elimination of wealth redistribution bills, members of the Committee of Guardimba Victims are sharing their stories in conferences and forums, spreading awareness and encouraging citizens to engage in nonviolent practices. Liz Sherpius, Delisord, Ecuador.